गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन अर्लियर क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इनवर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लाप्लास एंड इनवर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आल्सो वी हैव स्टडीड द कन्वोल्यूशन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कन्वोल्यूशन थ्योरम फॉर द लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ वी विल यूज द कन्वोल्यूशन थ्योरम टू फाइंड सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटीग्रल्स one of the most important integral is the beta function so first we have to prove by using convolution theorem prove that by using convolution theorem prove that beta mn is equals to beta mn that is the beta function beta mn is equals to integral 0 to 1 u raised to m minus 1 1 minus u raised to n minus 1 we have to prove that the beta function beta mn is equals to u raised to m minus 1 1 minus u raised to n minus 1 du and it can also be written as gamma of n gamma of n upon gamma of n plus n hence reduce that hence reduce that integral 0 to pi 2 pi by 2 Hence, reduce that integral 0 to pi by 2 sine raised to 2 m minus 1 theta cos raised to 2 n minus 1 theta d theta. This is equals to 1 by 2 beta m. So we have to prove this result that the beta function. Is equals to in integral form 0 to 1 u raised to m minus 1 1 minus u raised to n minus 1 du. This is in the gamma form. It is equals to gamma m gamma n upon gamma of m plus n. So by using the convolution theorem, we have to prove this result. The solution of this problem is if we take f x is equals to Integral zero to x, u raised to m minus one, x minus u raised to n minus one d. If we take a function, if we consider a function f x is equal to zero to x, u raised to m minus one, x minus u raised to n minus one d x, and then take the Laplace transformation of this function. Taking Laplace transformation of this function, Laplace transformation of f x with respect to p is equal to Laplace transformation of integral zero to x, u raised to m minus one, x minus u raised to n minus one du. With respect to, we see that the Laplace transformation of this integral is in the form of convolution theorem, and the convolution theorem says that. The Laplace transformation of an integral 0 to x f x f u into z of x minus u du is equals to f p into z of p. Here, if you take f x as u raised to m minus 1, f u is u raised to m minus 1, and z of x minus u is x minus u raised to n minus 1. So, comparing this with the original uh, convolution theorem, we find that f x is equals to x raised to m minus 1 and zx is equals to x raised to n minus 1 comparing this with the original convolution theorem we here find that fx is equals to x raised to m minus 1 and zx is equals to x raised to n minus 1 so using the convolution theorem using the convolution theorem What is convolution theorem? What is the convolution theorem? Convolution theorem is the Laplace transformation of 
इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एक्स एफ ऑफ यू जी ऑफ एक्स माइनस यू डी यू इज इक्वल टू एफ टी इन टू दिस इज दूशन थेम सो यूजिंग दिस कन्वोल्यूशन थेम वी गेट लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एफ एक्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू पी दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस इंटीग्रल दट इज द लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एक्स u raised to m minus one, x minus u raised to n minus one, d u with respect. And by the Laplace transformation, by the convolution theorem, this is equals to the Laplace transformation of x raised to m minus one with respect to p into the Laplace transformation of x raised to n minus one with respect to p. By the convolution theorem, and we know that. The Laplace transformation of x raised to m minus one by using the formula of the Laplace transformation, this is equals to gamma of n upon p raised to m. The Laplace transformation of x raised to n minus one is gamma of n upon p raised to m. So this is equals to gamma of m, gamma of n upon gamma of n plus. Sorry. Upon gamma of upon p raised to p raised to n plus. So we get this is here the Laplace transformation of integral zero to x u raised to m minus one x minus u raised to n minus one du is equals to gamma of m. Gamma of n upon p raised to n plus. Now taking the inverse Laplace transformation, taking the inverse Laplace transform, we get integral zero to x u raised to m minus one. X minus u raised to n minus one du is equal to inverse Laplace transformation of gamma m gamma n upon p raised to m plus n with respect to x. So we find here the inverse Laplace transformation. The right hand side is equal to one upon sorry gamma of m gamma of n is outside the inverse Laplace transformation into inverse Laplace transformation of One upon p raised to m plus n. Now the inverse Laplace transformation of one upon p raised to m plus one is equals to gamma of is equals to x raised to m plus n minus one upon gamma of m plus n. So this is equals to gamma of n, gamma of n into x raised to m plus n minus one upon gamma of m plus. N. So this is this integral integral zero to x u raised to m minus one x minus u raised to n minus one. So value of this integral in terms of the gamma function is equal to this. Now to find the required result, if we put x is equal to one, we get integral zero to one. U raised to m minus one, one minus u raised to one minus u raised to n minus one du. This is equal to gamma of n, gamma of n upon gamma of n plus n, which is the required first result. So. This integral is equal to this one, and we know that this is nothing but the beta function, which is written as beta of n. So, by using the Laplace transformation, we find the value of this integral in terms of beta and gamma function. Now, the first the deduction is if we put U is equals to sine square theta. Then du is equals to two sine theta 
first theta theta. So the we get required result h integral 0 to pi by 2 sine raise to 2m minus 1 theta cos raise to 2n minus 1 theta d theta is equals to 1 by 2 theta. By putting straightforward by putting u is equals to sin square theta we get the required result in terms of the beta branch. So by using the Laplace transformation we find the values of this integral in terms of the uh, beta and the gamma function. Thank you. Thank you very much.